Iron Finance, y'all know what's happening. It basically crashed down to freaking zero. And people are saying, oh, it's a freaking rug pull. Uh, there's, you know, Mark Cuban's behind all of this. Well, maybe he is. And this article here just really sums it up. So I thought I'd just dig deep into what actually happened. Let's go. Iron Finance's Titan token falls to near zero in DeFi panic. So what happened is the worst thing that could possibly happen considering the tokenomics. The Iron Finance investor, Fred Shabasta, comment so we're gonna find out who he is as well in a minute so iron finance has two separate tokens so one is titan and the other one is iron so titan is like this volatile asset basically a cryptocurrency whereas the iron is supposed to be like a pegged to usd dollars so it's supposed to be like usdt usdc those kind of stable coins that mirror the actual asset backing which is the us dollar so some argue that the interest from billionaire investor mark cuban has only exacerbated the situation as people discovered his DeFi wallet and alleged him to be the sole provider of Titan die on Polygon chain. Die is another stable coin. So there are sort of some skepticism out there, but let's actually just clear up the cloud here as we read through this. So Titan belongs to Iron Finance, a project that began bridging to Polygon's chain on May 18 in a bid to tap into Polygon's efficiency and low transaction fees. A lot of DeFi protocols have begun for that reason on the Polygon network. And you guys know that I made a video on Polycat Finance the other day, and that's another example of those DeFi protocols that's actually been built on Polygon. The project was attempting to put a partially collateralized stablecoin as iron okay it's interesting that it's only partially collateralized the stablecoin in turn consists of circle and coinbase's stablecoin usdc which is actually backed by an actual bank account right so usdc is actually a very very stable is the most stable stable coin if you like usdt has some criticism but usdt because of a lot of people are approving its use so it's not such a big issue for it anymore but usdc is actually the only thing that's actually the stable stable coin and obviously iron was not because of what actually happen so we're going to see how this is actually worked out as well as titan and was pegged to one dollar stable coins are cryptocurrencies whose value is attached to financial assets such as commodities or government issued currency in a bid to keep them stable right so this is another way that you can withdraw from your cryptocurrency without having to actually hit your bank account it can just be converted to usdt for a while and then you know or usdc for a while and then be invested into any other currency that you would like to invest into so in the case of iron which received this collateral backing from titan users may mint new stable coins through a mechanism on iron finances network by locking up 25% in Titan and 75% in USDC, which is an interesting scheme. Due to how the tokenomics of this particular DeFi project functions, when a new iron stable coins are minted, the demand for Titan increases, driving up its price. Conversely, when the price of Titan falls dramatically, as was the case on Wednesday evening, the peg becomes unstable. Titan's price went to $65 and pulled back to 60. This caused a whole bunch of whales to start selling. This is the reason why we saw this happen. So it's basically like when all of a sudden you lose trust in a bank and you go and withdraw all your money, and that's where the banking crisis crisis begins. Similar thing happened here. So there was just a, a huge amount of selling that was going on. Fred Shibesta, who we now know is the founder of finder.com.au. That then led to a big de-pegging of iron. As whales, large backholders began to offload their Titan tokens, they flooded the market with the excess tokens, causing a bank run. A bank run refers to a situation when a large portion of users attempt to withdraw their money at the same time, believing the bank, or in this case, the protocol, will cease to exist. In turn, as Titan began to fall in dramatic fashion, so did the pegged value of iron. As a whale dumps further decreased the value of iron. It triggered the stablecoins mechanism that meets Titan and removes liquidity in a bid to stabilize iron to $1, which is a good design of it in itself. But this caused an arbitrage opportunity in the difference in the price of iron and Titan, which in turn flooded the market with even more Titan tokens, adding additional sell pressure and destabilizing iron's price even further. It was a crypto vortex of money, said Shibesta. In the beginning, users were receiving an incredible 2-5% to annual percentage rate per day, which is crazy. When the dust settled, Titan was near zero and iron was last seen trading way off peg around 69 cents. The project has responded by offering redemptions in USDC, but reminded users that they'll need to wait 12 hours for a time lock feature to pass before this can be executed. Now, I don't exactly know what that means. So here it is. This is a tweet that we're referring to. Since the price of Titan has fallen to zero, the contract does not allow for redemptions. We will wait for 12 hours for the time lock to pass before USDC redemptions are possible again. This is such a short response. So I actually don't know what that means. I actually was staking USDC 
and iron. So both deemed to be stable coins. And obviously I stake them now and I've cut a loss in them. And I did it through not iron finance DeFi, but I did it through Polycare financing. So I actually pulled that out. Now I've suffered a little bit of a loss, not too much, basically that 30% on the iron side that I actually had. So I just cut my losses and I just got the hell out of there. These things happen. This is crypto. You play with risk. That's you dance with risk. That's just what happens. At one stage, iron finance had over 2 billion in total value locked on Polygon, which is fantastic. The value has since dropped around 356.5 million, according to the protocols on dashboard. There was no rock pool or exploits, guys. What happened is just the worst thing that could possibly happen considering their tokenomics. So look, by design, I, along with Mark Cuban, had no problem with our finance and the design behind it. But you know, these things do happen, you know, overnight, you know, that's what investing into crypto is. So now coming back to the pair, this is not iron finance, this is polycare finance, but yeah, anything that attaches with iron, we see that their daily and their APY has dropped significantly. And I don't really see anybody doing that at all. And here we have it, guys. This is supposed to be a stable coin, but look at that. It's sort of swimming around in that 60 to 70 cent mark. So look, this is so much better than actually investing into See, That's what you expect on a pegged coin, but you know, boom, that's what happened. Obviously, this is not as bad compared to what happened to Titan. If you look at Titan, geez. So Iron Titan token, it's actually within 24 hours gone from 50 bucks to basically zero. Is this a buying opportunity? I would have to probably see what happens in the market before I would actually go in. So no, I don't think this is a buying opportunity at all. But look, I just thought I'd clear this up. A lot of videos out there saying that, oh, you know, uh, this is the biggest rock pool and this and that, whatever. Like, no, it's not. It's just people no longer believe in the project and one person sells, next person sells, and just the FUD just flushing the money out of the entire system. So uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. I mean, this kind of stuff can happen to banks or anything that we know that's institutionalized. But the thing is there is good subscription for it. That's why those things are unlikely to happen. But you know what, same thing could happen. If for example, tomorrow, you and I just went to the bank and just flushed all the money out of our bank accounts, then you know, then the same thing will happen to the dollar and also to the actual bank and their share prices that it's gonna see a massive, massive decrease. But look, uh, thank you so much for tuning in guys. That's just a quick update on Iron Finance. Hope you enjoyed that. If you lost the money, that's okay. You just move on. It's just part of life. If you're still in crypto in any other capacity, make sure you invest in money that you can afford to lose because these things do happen in crypto. It's just part of life. And there's no amount of research that you can do to prevent this. And it happens to really smart guys like Mark Cuban. So you know what? Just keep going and make sure you diversify your risk in your investments. And I wish you the best of luck in whatever you decide to invest into. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Go follow my socials. Go like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you can see these daily updates. Thank you so much. Peace out.